Joining me is LSU punter Zach Von Rosenberg. Five punts, 42-yard average, had a 56-yarder and a couple inside the 20. For a team that scored 60-something points, you actually had some a little work to do. Yeah, we uh, we scored so quick early in the game that it, it limited our possessions at the end of the game. We wanted to run the clock out and, uh, you know, running the ball. When they know you're running the ball, they're able to stop us a couple times, which put me on the field for the most times uh, this season in the game. What was it like in this atmosphere? I mean, even though it was a road game, I think it was about 75% Tiger fans. I mean, it was awesome. It, was, it seemed like a home game, really. Uh, we know we had our full band here, and they are playing all our songs, and everybody in the stands was singing along and it was it was great it was like we're at home unlike texas you could hear the band <laughs> yeah right yeah we could definitely hear the band on the field at, at, during the game here for sure what's it been like for you you grew up a tiger fan near tiger stadium you played the last couple of years for lsu to watch this offense just continue to to morph obviously it limits your opportunities on the field but i'm sure you don't mind i mean no i absolutely not if we're, if i'm not on the field that means we're, we're scoring a lot of points and we're likely winning and uh you know i i told joe this all the time i said you're dangerous because he is every game you don't know what he's going to do, and he's 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 a dangerous player now. He's one of the most, uh, you know, elite players in college football. Every game, you know. He didn't hurt his chances, you know, for the Heisman talk to continue. Almost 400 yards throwing. He had six touchdowns today, which is a new uh, single season, uh, single game record at LSU. Zach Mettenberg was over on the sidelines. He lives here in Nashville, and um, mo like most Tigers that have played offense the last 10 years, drooling at what this offense can do. Yeah, it's it's completely different than what we've done in the past. Uh, you know. Before, we wanted to control the line of scrimmage with running and, you know, running out the clock and wearing down the defense. But now it's just, you know, we have the players and, you know, especially a wide receiver, we're, we're so deep, we can just run people out of the stadium, you know, at the entire game. Two weeks uh, off. You get a week off, uh, no, no game next week. And then you've got some guys coming back on defense that will help you a little bit. Yeah, uh, we need to get healthy. we got to get a lot of ankles and, you know, knees and whatever else. Just, just you know, nothing's major, major, but guys that need to get healthy. So this, this bye week couldn't come in a better time. As a former baseball guy, did you? Did you? Did, I'm sure you didn't. Uh, what didn't go unnoticed that Vandy got their rings today uh, on the field for winning the national championship in baseball against LSU. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it's crazy. I mean, they they have some elite pitchers, and you know, it seems like every year they're pumping out a first rounder. So, you know, it, it was kind of funny to watch that happen. Uh, in the first, was it the end of the first yeah. quarter? It yeah. was. It was cool for them. That, but you know, in football, you know, we we like to say that we have uh, we have them in football. So definitely did. Yeah. Got a victory first time in uh, about ten years here in Nashville, Zach. Thanks for the time. Good luck next two weeks from now. Thank you. I appreciate right. it. All right, let's go back to the studio.